Welcome to television. How are you guys doing today? I am Nate. This is the What's Up Amsterdam show, the show where we tell you about all the great stuff that is happening in town. We have uh, probably probably the best show we've ever done uh, like on, on deck for you today. I cannot wait f uh, to get into it. Um, we are, uh, yeah, let's, I, let's do it. Let's just, let's just get the show started. Uh, and Jim and Trista from uh, Easy Laps, why don't you guys come on in here? Oh, they're lovely. They're lovely. Cool. Good stuff. Good guys. Mm. Excellent. All right. So, um, welcome to the show. Um, let's. Uh, you know what? It's uh, it's Monday. Let's get into. Let's get into the reason that we're here, gentlemen. Play the Monday clip for me. The Monday bumper. Let's get the show started. We call Monday, leave your boots on Monday, because well, the show happens at six o'clock, it's not at seven, you need to be ready to head out the door. That's true. So get home, <laughs> whip up some pasta, throw a little pesto in there, but keep your shoes on, because you gotta keep going. And actually, today is St. Patrick's Day. Did you guys realize yeah, that? Yeah, I was wondering, is it always on the 17th? It's always March 7th. Yeah, okay, yeah. so then I, yeah, yeah, okay. And see, I don't like, I go to bars really, yeah, you're the only one I wearing green, yeah. <laughs> Accidentally. <laughs> no, not me. I don't really go to bars that much. So you don't really hear about St. Patrick's Day unless you're in a bar, right? Yeah. You got the signs up and everything. Yeah, I don't yeah, know it's, if it's, it's that big in the Netherlands. It's anyway. much bigger in the UK, of course. Yeah. Right. Uh, you know, and it, but wherever you go in the world, there, there are Irish people. And so yeah. it's, well, it's, it's big wherever you go. The, the, there's an Irish pub in every city in the world. Exactly. Yeah. In fact, uh, we were in Beijing. And yeah. I just kind of got a little bit tired. I, I needed a little bit of some sort of yeah. home. And we yeah. found an Irish pub, yeah. and it was fantastic. <laughs> it was so nice. There are other uh, expats there that were kind of yeah. like, this is the best Guinness I've ever had. So. <laughs> um, but it is St. Patrick's Day, which makes it uh, amateur night. So uh, everyone just, you know, chill the fuck out just for a hot minute. And instead, you can head down to the Val Reap, where they're doing a documentary called um, Bitcoin, A Mixed Blessing. Ooh. It's a documentary. Like, do, do you know what Bitcoin is? Oh, I've heard yeah, of it. Yeah. 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 Digital money. Tricked out. Do you know what Works. Yeah, well, I've, I, I don't know if it's legal even, so I don't know if I should say this, but I have got a Bitcoin or a part of a Bitcoin or somewhere, but I've no idea what my password is, so how I don't know how to get it. Bitcoin. Well, because you, it you it, one? like one Bitcoin is worth like a thousand dollars or something. Oh, like that. Okay. So if you have a point three of a Bitcoin, it's ten euros. Or, I don't know but I thought works, the market crashed. No, well, it and I thought they, and the, then, the guy oh. that invented the Bitcoin was. Right, there was something with the guy. Totally clear. It's exceptionally complicated. That's all we know about Bitcoin. Did you have one? No, I don't know anything about Bitcoin. Yeah, to answer the question. But yeah, the nicest people at Valroop Community Center, Squat, whatever you want to call it. I call it a community center. At 7 p.m., so right about the time the show is ending, they're going to show a documentary. It'll be a couple minutes late. You know, they're probably not going to start right at 7. You can finish watching the show. Finish the show and then head out. They have a documentary explaining how bitcoins work and then they're going to have a discussion afterwards so like it's not done you know it's not like they give you this documentary oh. and expect you to go home if you actually have questions oh. so this is really yeah. fascinating yeah, yeah, yeah. like what should i do with my one bitcoin <laughs> yeah what's the password <laughs> to my bitcoin? <laughs> but did you pay for that bitcoin i paid for it yeah. how much did you pay uh, for it? I, I bought 15 euros worth which was yeah i don't know but it was a long time ago so it might be worth 17 euros now or it might be worth zero <laughs> <All> zero euros <laughs> yeah. well let's uh let's move on to tuesday and see what's going on there justin marcus marcus it's Tuesday, Tuesday, gotta do a hop on Tuesday, write an essay, do ballet, then we'll see how much we weigh. All right, we are back. Let's, uh, let's talk. Tuesday's, uh, is, uh, is your thing. Let's, uh, tell me about it. Uh, well, tomorrow, yes, it's uh, it's um, comedy vibes. Mm -hmm. It's uh, it's not actually my thing personal, uh, but well, you uh, brought it in. I brought it in. Yeah. Yes, but I mean um, Peter, who is uh, also an actor at Easy Laughs, he organizes stand up comedy courses mm -hmm. and stand up comedy shows. And I think at the moment this uh, thing, this stand up comedy night, is the only open mic comedy night in English in Amsterdam. Oh wow! It's okay. at Vibes uh, Cocktail Bar. It's in West near the Vondel Park. And uh, there are, will be people there with a lot of experience, and there will be people there with a little experience. So it's a really nice mix night. it's free, I believe, entry. It's, it's free. fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, excellent. Yeah. And, and it's what? a really nice uh, small bar. Yeah. Like, it's Jan Pieter Heijestraat, if you want to go and find it. Oh, we know exactly where that is. That's cool. All right, and what time does that get started? 
Eight, I believe. Eight, eight, eight o'clock. Yeah, they got a Facebook page. So, All right, uh, you'll be able to find it. Cool. That's that's uh, that's fantastic. All right. Um, let's let's move on to Wednesday, gentlemen. Cool. <laughs> On uh, Wednesday the 19th, Freddie Cole is at the North Sea Jazz Company. Uh, Freddie is the younger brother of Nat King Cole, oh, which has got to be like, that's a young big brother. shadow. Yeah. 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 I always feel sorry for people who are like brothers or sons or daughters from like a real big name. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. He's, he's a jazz man as well, is he? He's a jazz man as well. He's uh, he, uh, where, uh, where Nat was kind of like a buttery, smooth kind of jazz. Uh, um, uh, Freddie does kind of a more uh, swingy, a little more Billy Holiday. Frank Sinatra kind of thing. Okay. In fact, actually, we have a video of his. Let's uh, let's play that real quick, guys. Can we do that? That's not it. From his brother, isn't he? Uh, he's actually he's at the uh, the North Sea Jazz Company, uh, and that gets going at 9 p.m. As far as I know, tickets are still available. Do we do we have the the video, or do we need to move on? Move on, we are headed. Okay, no problem, man. Uh, check out Freddie Cole. He's uh, the dude is, is pretty fantastic. Uh, also on Wednesday, a band called Intergalactic Lovers are at the Paradiso. They're a Belgian quartet that do kind of uh, if you're if you're into like uh, the Ting Tings mm -hmm. or Feist, yeah. that sort of like uh, uh, kind of disco oh, no, female nice. pop kind oh, of nice. thing. And I know for a fact we have a little video uh. of theirs. <laughs> so let's uh, let's rock a little bit of uh, Intergalactic Lovers. Who up, 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 and. That's right, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's good stuff. Yeah. They're gonna be a fantastic show. <laughs> nice. uh, so that is, yeah, yeah, fan, for fans of like the Tin Tings and Feist, and I kind of thought the, uh Oh yeah, Ting Tings are the ones who do That's Not My Name, right? Yeah. yeah. That's Not My Name. Yeah, yeah. That's not my name. I love that song. Uh, that's at 8 p.m. at uh, at the Paradiso. Uh, all right, let's uh, let's see what's going on on Thursday. Mark and Justin. <laughs> <laughs> that guy um, looked like a, a, a Chinese version of, of Putin. Thursday, it looks like a Cirque du Soleil is coming back into oh, town. Yes. Oh, I've, nice. uh, I've been to the premiere of their new show uh, last week. Oh. They're uh, playing till the end of April, so mm -hmm. you've got plenty of opportunity mm. to see them. It's worth the it's money, I think. Uh... Kuza, okay. K O O Z A. And it's great. It's just great. I was there the whole time thinking, this is not possible. <laughs> this can't be happening. It's just when you think that like, they can't do anything to blow your mind yeah. any further. They come up with another it's, thing or it's great. somebody jumps up onto somebody else's shoulders from yeah. four yeah. fucking stories. Yeah. yeah, the things the, the bodies can do, it's, it's incredible. And um, yeah. if you feel like I really want to go there, but I don't have that much money, they've got a great thing on their Facebook page. If you go to facebook.com slash Kusa, so not the Sly one, but the Kusa one, mm -hmm. they've got a Kusa challenge. And you oh. can challenge someone to take you to Kusa. So you can say, if you take me to Kusa, I will... Catch a tree. Whatever you want. <laughs> Catch a tree with my bare hands. Wow. Or I'll do the dishes for a month or whatever. Oh, okay. And That's then cool. I think they will give the most original one, they will give them away like two free tickets and a, and a night at a Pulitzer Hotel or something. Oh, so it's for oh. like... Doing an improv workshop first, right. so you're very creative, and then fill out Wait, a really original challenge. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll, we'll do it. We'll do it. Yeah. Keep it there. <laughs> Give it away. <laughs> uh, also on Thursday, uh, uh, actually a guest from last week, DJ Natasha, aka Nasty Moves. That's her name when she does roller derby. Uh -huh. Oh, nice. Aka Natasha Clotier. That's her name when she goes abroad and shows people her passport. <laughs> 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 She's hosting and DJing a night of French music at. Uh, the new Anita Cafe. 
Uh, Thomas Rastra is going to sing live. There's going to be wine oh, and cheese yeah. and aperitifs. Oh, like that. French stuff. So uh, go pretend you're in Paris. Wear mm -hmm. something French. Maybe carry a baguette and a, <laughs> the little thing. Yeah, a little, bring an onion. Uh, maybe a, what? Bring an onion. Bring an onion. onion? onion? Yeah. French onion soup. Onions. Uh, French always carry an onion with them, don't they? Or is that, That's is what that they right? do. <laughs> <laughs> they make it gypsies. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to steal next time. Oh, come on. The French always yeah. carry an <laughs> Take and tell the Prime Minister. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I wasn't handing it to you. I was just showing you that I had my yeah, onion yeah, yeah. to <laughs> prove that I'm French. Uh, I thought they always yeah. carry a baguette. Yeah. 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 With an onion. Oh, my. With an, a stuff full of <laughs> onion. Uh, so that is going on at the uh, Cafe Anita, and I believe that gets going around 8 o'clock as well. Uh, go ahead and, and, uh, and check that out, but only after Cirque. So, Cirque. right? Um, I think that brings us up to a Freitag, doesn't it? Yeah, let's do, uh, let's do Friday, gentlemen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, or Justin or Bieber. Is a, <laughs> uh, so on Friday, you guys have a, have a big to do going on. What can you do on a Friday? What can, yeah. yeah. Uh, this is amazing. Get to you, your ass to the Crea. Okay. Uh, because Easy Labs performs Yay. there every Friday, mm -hmm. and this Friday uh, we perform the tower. Yeah. What we just did the one word at a time, uh, we call that a short form game. Mm -hmm. So it's like all short games, and the tower is a long form game. So it's about 45 minutes, I think. Something like that, yeah. Something like that. We'll do some short form games in the beginning. Uh, and then the tower is like 45 minutes, and it's all scenes that take place in the same apartment building, in the same ah. tower. Mm -hmm. And the audience always gets to decide a lot, mm -hmm. uh, as you've just decided that the story was about mugs. Or oh, was it about meatballs? meatballs. meatballs. <laughs> I just made it about mugs. <laughs> <laughs> Everything about mugs. Yeah. 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 Um, so the audience also decides on what kind of tower we all live in. Yeah. And what so we interrogate the audience a little bit, find out what kind of story they want to hear, right. what kind of uh, background, uh, what, what sort of de some of the details and stuff that they want to see. And then we come back and we tell a story using those using those details. Fantastic. I've seen you guys do some long form stuff and like everyone plays different characters and they put on uh, just you know, different characteristics for being these other people. Yeah. Sometimes you'll be an old man or and then an old woman two minutes later, or a yeah. teenager, and you'll play these different yeah. roles. It really is a fantastic uh, show, and it is, it's a super fun time. So It's cool. Thanks for saying that. Yeah, it's really good. We, we're getting some really nice feedback, and uh, people seem to enjoy it and uh, yeah. have a great time. And, uh, and it's yeah, also, it's I think, fun. really nice because you have such an international crowd as an audience, so we go hang out at the bar afterwards, and everyone's just socializing. Yeah. So yeah. I think the social aspect is also... It's a full evening. Really yeah. 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 There's a lot of the Easy Laughs members that um, hooked up... Well, well, hooked up <laughs> makes it sound so seedy. What I mean is now boyfriends are girls. Yeah. <laughs> They're now like partners. Because oh, yeah. We can email laugh. the Russian okay. girl Except again. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> At no point did I have to pour alcohol over myself. No. Right. no. But you were willing we, to. We, I was like, sure I, I, mean, I have to admit. I'll do it. I'll do it. All right, boy. All right, boy. All right. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it's, it's fun. It's a real sort of community. Yeah. It's a nice. Uh, the the Crea Cafe is uh, is on the Reuters Island, mm -hmm. and it's uh, very kind of. It's part of the university. It's, mm -hmm. the, it's basically the university bar, um, and that is part of the um, performing arts part of the university. So it's there's lots of theatres and sort of practice rooms, and it's a very arty mm -hmm. kind of nice nice vibe. They're really relaxed. The, all the trams go right there, so it's easy enough to get Tenu, to. Yeah, no, it's I a Tenu, Tenu, Tenu. The first time you go, you're kind of like um, you're walking down the the, the yeah. alley. You're like, great, um, this is how I die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, yeah. 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 There's some there construction a going on, so yeah. the first time you go there, it is a bit difficult to yeah. find. So uh, leave your house ten minutes earlier, so you can find your way. <laughs> it's nice; it's mapped but, right there. And once you get around, yeah. there's signs and everything. It's yeah. super easy to find. So and, and on our some. website, uh, easylabs.nl, you can even find a map. And I think Trista even made a video. Oh, you don't have to get my name there. on that. Uh, <laughs> 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 I wish we did that video. Yeah. 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 This is terrible. It's just not how you get there at all. It is how you get there, but it's just not really helpful. Because it's just so fast. And anyway, it's really it's funny, funny, but yeah. it doesn't help at all. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. I think so, it's really funny to watch if you know how to get yeah. there. You'll be like, ah, oh, this video will never show people how to get there. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, then, it's, uh, so that's, what time does it get started? Uh, we have an early bird oh, yeah. show at oh, yeah. 8 mm -hmm. and then the main show at 9. All right. Yeah. So uh, I think it's always fun to come to the early bird show yeah. as well. It, if you pay for the 9 o'clock show, you get the 8 o'clock show for free anyway. Oh, yeah, dude, yeah. you make a whole evening out of it. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah, fantastic. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Yeah. It's the student show, is the 8 o'clock show. So it's it's good to go and give them some love and uh, give them some support. Oh, so that's the that's the class that hasn't graduated yet. That's right. Yes. Oh, yeah. okay. Cool. Excellent. All right. Uh, great. So let's, uh, let's move on to Saturday.
Uh, this Saturday at the Milkbag is Rebellion Festival. I don't know if you guys are interested in this, but Cox Bar, The Damned, The Ruts DC, and literally 27 more of the most fantastic old school punk rock bands oh. that have enough members alive to, st- to still keep touring <laughs> are playing at this festival. Um, yeah, that's I. Rebellion I, Festival. Rebellion Festival. <laughs> yeah, three stages. It's all day. This is going to be an absolutely beer soaked, monumental uh, event. Like mm-hmm. Dude Fest. Dude, dude. Fest, yeah. <laughs> You've never seen more bomber jackets and close haircuts in your life, but I swear to God, it's like uh, they're, these, these shows are super, super fun. Yeah. Uh, like, I, like, Cox Bar is just a rock band. Like, you think of these, like, the Cox Bar uh, and, the, and the Damned, like, you think they're like, oh my God, these hardcore punk rock bands, but yeah. they're not. They, we're going to listen to a song by a band called The Ruts. We're going to listen to an old version of it. But at, at the time, this was like grindcore. You know, okay. but now you listen, you're like, oh shit, this is just pop music. This is just yeah. pop music. Yeah. In fact. <laughs> and they actually hit some pretty, some pretty, uh, um, you know, good points. They're, they're, they're smart dudes that are talking about about good stuff. So, um, yeah, let's 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 listen to a little bit of uh, the Ruts playing uh, "Staring at the Rude Boys." <laughs> problem with the uh, with our friends the Ruts uh, half the band is dead okay oh. the singer and the guitar player uh, the singer sadly died of a heroin overdose in 1980 so mm-hmm. that was filmed in probably 78 maybe 79 uh, and then the guitar player uh, died just a couple of years ago of, mm-hmm. of cancer so but they uh, the Ruts the, the, but the other guys are still musicians that's the thing with a lot of these bands they grew up uh, on, on reggae and rock and roll mm-hmm. and you know ska and, uh, ska and all that sort of thing so it has all this, this huge mm-hmm. influence on it so the Ruts DC will probably play a little bit more of a ska influence influence kind of thing and they're they're but they're definitely still doing a lot of this old rut stuff i watched a couple of videos and it just looks great to me uh this could start at noon Ooh. oh it's what? a full day what? it's a full <laughs> day oh. yeah so it starts at noon and then the last band hits age at 10 15 so if you really wanted to you could see this entire festival and, and still-, still be Passed out at 11.30. <laughs> you have a reasonable amount of sleeping time. You yeah. Be, oh, that's good. Yeah, right. that's nice. So, yeah. So that is uh, the Rebellion Festival at the Milk Vag with Cox Bar, The Dam, The Ruts DC, and so many more great bands. It's, I really it's think It's quite should, a lineup, should. isn't it? It's, yeah. it's a huge lineup. Yeah, without a doubt. All right. Um, <laughs> let's uh, let's get into Sunday. Let's, uh, let's finish up this week, shall we? Yes. All right, cool. Sunday. Gentlemen. Uh, on Sunday, the 23rd, now this one I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna have to look at the paper a little bit because this is kind of involved, all right? Okay. Bear with me here. We'll just look at you. Thank yeah. you. All right. The paper. Uh, 30 minutes outside of Amsterdam, there is a castle called Castile de Haar. That it means Castle of the Hare. Okay. I actually have no idea if that's true, but probably. De Haar, Hare? De Haar. Yeah. Yeah. I guess Harry Haar castle? is like Hare, but it also like Rabbit? She. Like what? Like her. Like her. Oh. Yeah. Castle of her. her. All right. Originally it was built in, you know what, I'm going to tell you what, probably not Castle Her, because this was built in 1391, and it was in the de Her family until 1441, when the last last male heir, heir, when the last male heir (laughs) of the heir of the fortune (laughs) died, which left a whole bunch of women probably like, well, we can't have the castle because we're chicks. Uh, And then the dudes were like, well, if you were dudes, you could have a castle, but since you're chicks... You're out in your ass, uh, right? So uh, how times have changed. How times have changed, and then uh, let's see. So the castle was um, the castle sat unused, uh, and then was given to the Van Zylen family in 1641, and the Van Zylen family, uh, the last meal of that of them, I'm sorry. Let me, let me start this again. So the, the Dahar family, they have no last male heir. It was then given to the Van Zylen family. And then in 1641, the last male Van Zylen died uh, and without a son. Okay. So then the castle kind of fell into ruins until 1890, at which time Edion Gustav Frederick Baron Van Zylen Van Nijven de Haar was given the castle. <laughs> now I understand why you need the paper. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is also the plot of the John Goodman movie King Ralph. Where, yeah. Remember that? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't know that he was king and until then, the entire yes. Ralph family died and they find his ass yeah. singing. Next thing you know, he's king of England. <laughs> what? Does he fall in love with a commoner? He does. does. <laughs> and did that work out? It, it did. did. But it they had so much trouble in the meantime, but yeah. you can't, you're not going to fight love i'll tell you that right now <laughs> so this dude uh uh like one day in 1891 he's just given this castle 
He had no idea he was even oh. like royalty of any kind, which had to be awesome. That's like cool. one day he's like flipping burgers somewhere. Next day he's got a castle. So anyway, he's married to this chick named Baroness Helene Don uh, de Rothschild of no, the Rothschilds the Rothschild. before the castle. And so he was already married to this girl. He was already married to yeah, this okay. chick, and so then they was, got yeah. a castle. Okay, oh, he was in there. So he had the he, blood. Yeah, he had the blue blood. Ex- yeah, yeah, she, yeah. She definitely had the blue blood, which mm-hmm. is why she married him, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's all coming together. <laughs> so they decided to have the castle rebuilt, and a guy named Pierre K- uh, Kuipers soaks them for 15 years of rebuilding this castle to its current glory, which is 200 rooms and 30 bathrooms. Wow. Now, I'm curious, does that mean it has 170 rooms and 30 bathrooms? Or 200 (laughs) rooms... Which includes yeah. 30 bathrooms. Oh, In gosh. any case, a lot of rooms. It's a lot of, it's a lot of hoovering. <laughs> it, is a lot, it is a lot of hoovering, yeah. Uh, Wikipedia lists the condition of the castle as good, which makes Wikipedia an asshole as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> like, who are they to judge the condition <laughs> of the castle? <laughs> I mean, there's a standard Wikipedia. Average. Yeah, it's a Wikipedia <laughs> castle rating. It's a standard rating of Wikipedia. 30 bathrooms. English people would know this more than bad. Yeah, yeah. yeah what would be an excellent it? castle? <laughs> an excellent castle would have been Glenn Palace, but that's not really a castle, it's a palace. So I don't know, I have to think, come back to me on that. Okay, all right, let's... Uh, um, so the, the castle is actually entrusted to a foundation that runs and takes care of it, but the Vines Island family still has use of the castle for one month per year. Wow. So they can use it as kind of a vacation home. No So way. if you're touring the castle and you see some guy in a robe, like, scratching his balls and reading the paper, be like, Mr. Ben's Island! <laughs> How you doing, my friend? Um, and that, uh, that's the end of the week. Wait, so can we visit this castle? You can visit the castle. It is, it's, yeah, it's open, it's open every day from, like, 9 to Whoa. 5. Do you okay. think we can use all the bathrooms? Rooms because I would totally make a sport out of it. <laughs> <laughs> like make a selfie you and all the dirty water. <laughs> 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 I don't know all of them. Ah, uh, Jesus. Yeah, bring like gallons of orange juice <laughs> so I can what, pee. Visit it once and find out, and then go back again with your whole pee plan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't go in yeah, there hoping yeah, that the pee thing works out. Buckets of orange <laughs> juice. That's not, that's not a good look anyway. Um, <laughs> all right. It's Windsor Castle. It's it's Windsor. Oh, is that, that an excellent castle? All right, I'm gonna check Wikipedia when I get to it. Just check Windsor. Check Windsor <laughs> for rating. Yeah. Okay, so uh, 